Good morning, everybody. I just arrived at the Boston Teen Author Festival, and uh, this is my third year going, but this is my first year coming alone. The first year I went, I went with my fiance, and my second year, last year, I went with my mother in law, and this year, I'm all by my lonesome. festival is taking place at the Cambridge Public Library and the Cambridge Bridge and Latin School. I moved away from everyone else so I can film. Everyone is starting to gather. It's about 9 and the doors are supposed to open around 9.30. I brought a few things with me to try to keep my spending to a minimum. I brought a poster that I got at last year's event. It's readers read books, fans read sequels. I'm gonna have authors sign it as much as I want to buy a ton of books I can't financially um, excuse me I can't financially justify it and I did bring a couple of books for authors to sign I brought the bone witch by Rin Jubeko if I'm pronouncing that right I got this at book on and I also brought shadow and bone by Lee Bardugo I'm actually supposed to buddy read this with Christina Marie in October so I'm gonna have Lee Bardugo sign that there's a bunch of arcs that I got at BookCon that are being signed here. And you know what? I can't just fight buying those books since I already got them. And I already got them signed. So those are all the things that I brought to get signed. And uh, fingers crossed that I actually, you know, stick to the idea of not spending a whole ton of money today. We'll see at the end of the day if I was actually successful. I even brought my lunch to try to keep my spending to a minimum. And uh, I went a little crazy with the snacks because I was like, I don't know how hungry I'm going to be. And I'm starting to get weird looks. So I think I'm, I think I'm going to end it here. And I'm going to try to continue vlogging for the rest of the day. So see you guys later. Bye. All right, so I'm in my first panel. The uh, welcome thing was pretty cool. It's just there's a lot of people here. If you couldn't tell, there's like a lot of people here. And uh, I met a girl named Stephanie, and we were able to hang out and chill out while we listened to all the like welcome stuff from all the authors that are here. And now I'm currently sitting on the floor to this Lee Bardugo panel with Jason Reynolds and a few other people. And uh, I'm on the floor because I was not smart. Um, for the welcome thing, I went straight in line for that, for the welcome thing. I was like, oh, I don't want the little, little packet that they give you. And it's like, oh, we have a raffle ticket inside one of those where so you might win an art. I'm like, damn it. So I went back to the welcome room after like the welcome panel was over to grab it. And I didn't win. But I'm on the floor now, and we're just waiting for the next panel. All right, so I just finished that first panel, which was with Lee Bardugo and Jason Reynolds, and I have to say that was like freaking hilarious. There's so many like awesome sound bites, and I uh, actually live tweeted a bunch of Lee Bardugo's uh, comments. So if you want to like check out my Twitter, which I've listed down below for you guys, you guys ought to check that out. And uh, as you can see, I I got a chair. A chair. I'm pretty much staying in this room so I can see the panel with Victoria Aveyard. I'm gonna try to, we're not supposed to be eating, but I'm gonna try to eat a quick snack. Everybody gets super quiet when I say I'm about to break the rules. I'm gonna try to get a quick snack before this panel starts. Bye guys. So I really met this really awesome person at Novels Pairing. Beautiful, beautiful bookmarks. Look at that. So that's the Dragonfly. Dragonfly. And my options are dragon. dragon and what was the other one? And unicorns and ravens or crows and dragonflies. Did I get the dragon, the unicorn, and the raven? Is that being too greedy? You can have it. It's all yours. Oh. I just finished eating my lunch. I ate a little bit in the auditorium and then the panel started and so I couldn't finish it because I was eating Pringles and that would have been super loud. And uh, now I'm going to the next panel and I finished eating right outside and I did that because it's a library and I can't bring myself to eat in the library. All right, and now I'm running late. We're just gonna run inside.
scored a better seat for the next game. All right, so I'm currently in line to get my book and my poster signed by Lee Bardugo. Uh, I left my last panel just 15 minutes early because last year I didn't need to do that and the line was pretty short. And uh, alas, this place is crazy. It's almost like it's a book con. And uh, so I was like, you know what? We're gonna knock Lee Bardugo out of the way and then I'm gonna try to get everybody else. Because Lee Bardugo is in her own line and everyone else is in alphabetical order. So we're just gonna, yeah, we're gonna do that. All right, so it's four o'clock and I literally just went through one line, just Lee Bardugo's line, it's crazy. Uh, I ran in uh, Victoria Avier's line and I wanna see if I can get her to sign my little poster and then I'm gonna run in um, Bone Witch, her. See, so yeah, that's how tired I am, I'm totally spacing on her name. I wanna run in her line so she can sign my book and at that point we're just gonna see how many signatures I can get. All right, so I'm in line to see Adam, and I uh, did something rather mortifying. I'm in line to see somebody else, and I'm like, oh, I loved your arc. Because I have read a purple arc recently. It's like, well, my, this arc isn't out yet. I'm like, well. I mean, I pretty much had to tell her, well, I have a head injury, and I thought for sure I read your book, and I'm really sorry, and now I'm really embarrassed, and I'm sure I put you on the spot, and I feel terrible. I feel so terrible. I am... Um, incredibly awkward person and I am sweating and I am hot and I regret this project. So it's after five and as you can see nobody's here now but only one person is continuing to sign and that's Susan and I find it very funny that I was the last person to get her signature the last time I did one of these things and again I am the last person and we're gonna see how long she'll go and the fact that she's still going is pretty amazing. Hi everybody, it is now the next day. It is Sunday. Uh, I didn't film anything leaving the event because I was just so tired. I was so tired that I was actually starting to get a little disoriented. Like, um, you know how I was trying to get everyone to sign my little poster? I kept forgetting who actually signed it, so I would walk up to them like, I'm, I'm sorry, but I can't remember if I've asked you to sign this already because I'm trying to hit everyone. And uh, this is a little project I'm doing since the theme was like bringing it back to being 17. I want to do a yearbook thing, blah, blah, blah. And a few of them went, yeah, I already did sign it. Thank you. And I'm like, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. And in fact, like, uh, Cinda... Uh, she would uh, make fun of me. He's like, you know, I could just sign it to somebody else if you'd like. I'd be like, you know what? Yeah, just you know, go ahead. She didn't, but she was asking me, and I very much deserved it. But uh, as you can see, I got everybody. It's so exciting that I was able to get everybody. So what I'm going to do now with it, I'm going to frame it with the program, if I can find the program, if I didn't lose it. Oh, there it is. Come on. This is the little program, class of 2017, and uh, I'm just gonna frame it. And the signing thing was really crazy. Uh, I didn't think I was gonna get everyone as it was getting closer to five o'clock. It was supposed to end at five o'clock, but five of five, I went in um, Susan Dennard's line and I was like, you know what, I'll just wait until they kick me out. And Susan Dennard was such a sweetheart. She signed everybody's thing. She stayed till 5.30 making sure everyone got a thing and uh, I had said earlier, I was like, no, I'm the last person in line and we'll see, we'll see if I actually get something signed and I wasn't. So two people actually got in behind me after the fact and she made sure she got them too. Susan Denner is such a sweetheart and uh, what she did was just so sweet and fantastic. What I, after she signed my little poster, she gave me a little signed truth witch poster, excuse me, and I want to frame that too. Uh, Cindy Pond, after she signed my little poster, signed this beautiful little print, which I'm also eventually going to get framed as well. I got quite a few bookmarks. Oh, this is something else Susan Dennard signed. I'm also going to frame that as well. Oh no, my book, that little, my, my paperback got a little bit damaged. 
in my bag, but I got this signed by Lee Bardugo, which is very exciting. I got this signed by Rin Chupeco. I still don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. And I'm really bummed. After I brought all this, I realized I forgot something at home. I forgot this at home, which is a sampler for Language of Thorns by Lee Bardugo. And uh, which means I'm just eventually going to have to brave her lines again. Her lines are crazy. Every time I get into her signing line, it's ridiculous. And I got the little welcome packet. I'm gonna put this down for a second so I can open it. We got another little pamphlet thing in here, which I'm also going to put in that little frame thing. I think I'll have this showing the class of 2017 and, ooh, almost took my eye out. And then have the other pamphlet open so you can see all the names. We got a little sampler, I think. Is this a sampler? Ah, uh, yes it is. We got a little sampler for As You Wish, but I was able to get the full arc of this at BookCon. We got a little, a uh, little ad for Unicorn Crate. It's a fantasy YA box where you get a, a fantasy YA book and uh, six bookish items relating to that month's theme. And I would get this if I could afford it. So I'm gonna see eventually if I can get this box. Hello, bookmark. Advertising uh, for Boston Book Festival, which I'm hoping to go to. I requested this day off so I could actually go to this event. A couple more bookmarks. We got a pin, unicorn crate pin, a uh, Boston Teen Author Festival pin. It's different this year. They were selling last year's and the years before in their little merch booth for a dollar. I'm like, well, I already have it, so I won't buy it. They were also selling totes and water bottles. And I was like, well, I don't need either of those things, so I won't get it. And I have to say, were they selling shirts? I probably would have broke down and bought the shirt. I was really good. In the beginning of the video, I said I wasn't going to buy anything. I didn't. The, actually, the only thing I bought for that day was my train ticket. And that's it. And the last two items in this little baggy thing, besides the raffle ticket, which wasn't a winning ticket, are these lovely letters from... Oh, God, what's it called again? The, this girl was at... Uh, Bookon. Bookified. She was at Bookified. Uh, this is an Etsy shop where she writes letters from fictional boyfriends. I was able to get the Newt Scamander one at Bookon, which is actually still on my shelf. And she was, um, she had a, a booth up and I think she was selling letters there. I don't know. I didn't really look into it. But I thought it was really cool that she was advertising her product there. Let's actually open this up. Who are these from? So we have a red one and a blue. Blue. See, that's... I'm still recovering. A red one and a black one. Oh, cool. This first one is from Elias. And I think it's very cool that she tries to do the font how they would do it. Because Newt's was very... It was very cursive and lovely. I'm going to read this later, actually. <gasps> this black one is from Mr. Darcy. As you can see, different type of fonts. Not sure if you could tell. I probably showed the other one too fast. But yes, he's nice, clear print. Whereas this one's fancy cursive. I think she's actually printing these out now, like writing them up and printing them out because Newt's was hand, hand done. Yeah, as you can see, hand done. And that's all I really have to show you. This outro is running a little long, so I'll just end this here. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.